Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm going to show you a case, perhaps more cases, um, of a farm. We start with a calf, but the situation in this farm is real terrible because there is a poisoning of botulism. And that's the problem cannot be solved or very, very hard to be solved. And there is a plan that I do something on that farm just to come over that big problem of botulism. Read about this problem yourself. Uh, but the, the threat is that all cows slowly will die. Cows were dying at that moment on, on this farm. So I started to solve that problem. The farmer was willing to do it all. Perhaps later I can explain something about it. But that's the reason why I am on that farm. And it's my plan to stay there together with my wife Joyce, who is also a homeopath and who has some experience with uh, the veterinary situations. So we, we have a plan to stay there for two or three weeks just to work on botulism, but at the same time to do everything with the animals, what, what we can do, what's the problem. We are there with our, with our camper, we have not yet a, we have arrived, but at the same time, there is a problem with this calf. There's, so I, I arrived at the, the farm and immediately the first question, please help with this calf. This uh, case number one, but the, the ear number of the calf is this number. We go back in time and this, this calf is born on June 29th, 2013. And today, the day that we arrived there is July the 8th. So the calf is now 10 days old. That's the situation. This calf has an inflammation of the umbilicus now since two days. And I was given a course of antibiotics, was started yesterday, in fact, because today is July 8th and it, on July 7th, uh, the course of antibiotics was started for this cup, but immediately it was also stopped because they knew that I was coming and perhaps they thought perhaps homeopathy, homeopathy can do something and then well, let's stop antibiotics and for then he has a, a, a clean case. So we arrived on July the 8th, I arrived on that farm and this was the first case. We see the umbilicus it was red and inflamed. And there is a discharge from the navel. There is a discharge from the umbilicus and it's somewhat pussy and bloody, but there is certainly no blood coming out. It is cirrhose fluid, a little rosy more like cirrhose fluid with a somewhat pus-like aspect, not real thick pulsatilla pus. That's not the case. It's pinkish red curd, watery. The fluid is rather clear and it, it's certainly not yellow pus. You'll see photos. You see the the shed for the calves, I prefer the calf stays with the cow, but nowadays they do it in this way. And they, you see in my repertory, this is the chapter abdomen, you can see where it is, where I am on the, on the repertory. I, number 331, you are my calf. Show your umbilicus and you, you see it's rosy and it's wet. I think we should have grabbed the calf, put it on the back, but then you have to do, you need more people to, to hold the calf and 
we are just we do it in this way you see a little bit you see the wet aspect and the wet aspect will change completely you will see it when you see the last picture at the end because we are going to treat this baby very good that i mentioned that work because there's no difference if this is a, a baby calf of a, a baby boy or a baby girl I, for a baby boy or a baby girl i would do exactly the same now you see the wet aspect. This is a good picture. I see now, I think here's the, the, the attachment of the umbilical cord to the body and it's too short. It is, I, I don't see the rest of the cord, but it is wet. Nice picture, good. Rubrics, this is all the information. This is the, the, the case is, uh, is very small. We go to abdomen, inflammation, umbilicus, in children, in newborns, ulceration of umbilicus, in ulceration. This is not really an an, an ulceration. Ulceration is more or less an, an, an older process. Mm -hmm. But you see how uh, detailed I go into the repertory. I show you the rubrics which, which I have seen, not that these rubrics are top important, but you see the rubrics that I have seen. I see abrutanum, I see apis, and I see calcium phos. Abdomen discharge from umbilicus, and that's true. Abrutanum, AIDS, ambro, which I do not know, calcarea, calcium phos, etc. There are some remedies. Discharge from umbilicus. Next one. Abdomen discharge from umbilicus, bloody fluid. That's better. It's not really bloody because then it was would have been red, but it's not that. So how close is a rubric to the symptom? This rubric is close to the symptom, but it's not detailed enough because you have to say something about the discharge, the kind of discharge. This is this is close, but it's not completely well, not completely good. It's, it's bloody fluid. It's not bloody fluid. It's fluid. But abrutanum, calcarea, calcifos, nux morsata. Abdomen, discharge from umbilicus, bloody fluid in children in newborns. It is 95% okay, but it's not bloody. Not bloody. It's not bloody. It, I need serous fluid. Abrutanum calcifos. Up till now, calcifos is on all the rubrics. Abrutanum is on in all the rubrics. The calcifos is a remedy for the bones. Will I never give calcifos in such a situation? Yeah, perhaps, but when there, uh, perhaps I should have start with a call with a, a, a lecture about when to use small remedies, and I tell you in advance, when the story is big, use a polycrest. When the story is small, perhaps you are close to a small remedy. That's it. I can tell much more about it, but a, a big story, a long story, first remedy to be given mostly is a polycrest. Mm -hmm. When the story is small, not much information, but small, tending to one remedy, most of the time you can choose a small remedy. Applied treatment, washing and cleaning with hypercal solution three times daily. Do it three times daily, not two times, three times, perhaps even more, because we have to do with an open wound. 
and you give abrutarum 30 one dose every hour. For me, it's the first time ever that I gave abrutarum. Uh, by that time, I was uh, a homeopath for 30 years and I never gave the remedy, but I remember the, the remedy very well because of a lecture in 1987 by Roger Morrison when he came to Burghamstede in the Netherlands. We were in a venue of 250 people and he started to explain about his life, how he became a homeopath. He, he explained to us about uh, what, what Vitukas, he, he explained Vitukas ideas about uh, the essence of the remedies, how to, how to prescribe on essence, which was quite new by that time. And he said, what I like to do is to tell you about all the remedies. And we start with A in one of the first remedies. We started with Abies Canadensis, Abies Nigra, and the third one was Abrutanum. And he said, okay, I tell you something about Abrutanum and you have to, to know two things about Abrutanum. And it's, that's about the, the umbilicus, the problem with the umbilicus, the details will follow, and about that word metastasis. And you can see when I will give also my Materia Medica for Abrutanum. And there you see what you will read what Roger Morrison explained to us about what is what is metastasis in Abrutanum, which has nothing to do with cancer. Nothing. It's just metastasis in Abrutanum. Just for study. This has nothing to do with this case, but just for study and because also of this remedy which you are going to give at least one time in your life. You see, uh, the big keynote of Abrutanum. And it's just, just this, generals, emaciation in children, in newborns, accompanied by discharge from umbilicus. That is the story for Abrutanum. It is a baby not striving well, not doing well, and at the same time, there is a discharge for, for an umbilicus from the umbilicus. When that is the problem, then abrutanum is your remedy. Don't wait for another remedy. Here you see it, abrutanum is in bold type. Mm -hmm. Here you see the 10, 10 cc bottle with the Pipette, I call it pipette in my, my it's a stopper. And this is mixed, filled with 10, with 10 cc, 10% alcohol. And I put then in one granule, I wait until it's dissolved and I shake like this. Yeah. Here's the drinking bottle. Mostly I work with bottles like this. And I put in a little bit water, only like that. Then preparing the remedy, he's shaking, oh, shaking the bottle, take a little bit, and I press a little bit and I count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, close. When six fall in, no problem. Four is also good, but I always do five. And I shake, I shake, I shake, or like this, whatever you like to do. But, okay. but then from the drinking bottle, you, you pour something in the mouth of the, of the car. No, just, well, then I add more water until three quarters. Yeah. Close the bottle, shake again. Uh -huh. and, and this is just for, for the patients to drink okay. a little bit. Yeah. And you close again. And every time when you drink, you shake a little bit yeah. and you drink. Or in... In, in case of this cough, when you when you made prepared it in, in this bottle, you can put it into the drinking basket of the cough. Ah, you, you don't pour it directly in the mouth of the no, no, cough? No, 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 no. What, what you can only, what you, you put it in the drinking basket of the cough and you can go with your clean hand over the mouth. Okay. You can do that and for such a case, it's good to do it one once an hour. Do it three, four, five hands full. No problem. Just make, let the remedy make contact with the calf and do it. Do it every hour until there comes a reaction. Okay, now we, we go on. 
this so this is not this calf. This calf is is, is okay, but the, this is for abrotanum. Yeah. Genitals, emaciations, almost the same rubric. Children, newborns, there you see baby boy, baby girl, accompanied by eruption on the umbilicus. I like to show you. I like to show you a small card. It is this card. Look at it. It's this card. Here you see the the schema of the complete symptom. Take your time. Whenever you when you have never seen this before, write it down in this way. And there you see von Bunninghausen's complete symptom. For all cases, for all symptoms, I always try to complete the symptom in this way. And in the symptom, as I've written it now here, general symptoms, children, newborns, accompanied by, you will not see it so very often, a very good accompanied by symptom. Um, those rubrics mostly are very small in the repertory, and it means that it's very close to the individual in individuality of the patient. So that's the so the value of such a symptom is uh, very high. Here you see it is a discharge, but now it can also be an umbilicus. Something is wrong with the umbilicus. Now we go to the next day. So we start, we give every hour the remedy and two, three times. When I should have time, I, I, I would clean the umbilicus even six times a day with uh, hypercal solution. Hypercal solution is the same. You prepare it in, also in such a bottle. You and take half a bottle of water. You add 10, 10 drops of uh, hypercal. Perhaps only calendula tincture, also possible because there's not so much pain. Hypericum is for the pain and calcarea is for, for, the, for the cleaning and for recovering of the, the, the tissue. And then, uh, but wash it quite often. July the 9th, 2013, we go, what's, what can we think? The pink appearance of the discharge has disappeared. The navel, the umbilicus itself is less red after one day. It means that the remedy has done a good job. The, our plan, how to do it, it's okay. And what I say is continue to wash with hypercal solution three times daily, do it. And abrotanum 30, one dose every two hours. And now you see that I'm doubling the interval. It's not completely healed by now. So we are on our way. Don't stop the remedy. I'm not a homeopath, which will stop the remedy now. But I will. I am a homeopath who is going on with doubling the interval. In fact, homeopathy is a battle be between the natural disease which is going on and the artificial disease which we give to the patient by means of our remedy. And our remedy must be stronger. As long as our remedy is not stronger, as long as the artificial illness is not stronger than the natural disease which is going on, the natural disease will go on. We must be stronger. I will not give up. But I, when it's not necessary anymore to give the remedy very often, but I do not want to see a relapse. When it has started in a, in a good way and there comes a relapse, mostly the remedy was right, but the natural disease is on the winning hand. 
and I want the artificial disease must must yeah. that's why I start now of the time 31 dose every two hours, doubling the interval yeah, in acute cases yeah in, in acute cases constitutional cases are different but this is acute 10th of July 2013 she is getting less and less it's becoming calmer no more fluid coming out of the umbilicus of umbilicus. only one time it's it's okay there seemed to be three yesterday and the car well today there seemed to be some diarrhea. it's not very clear but there seem there seemed to, to be some diarrhea perhaps perhaps a discharge up to time 31 dose every four hours that means we, we do it three or four times a day that the, the that the calf gets up to time 30. This is because the information is getting less and less. It, it is becoming calmer. So we are almost ready. That's in two days. July the 11th, 2013. We see an active calf makes happy wild jumps. The calf is asking for food and everything is all right now. The umbilicus, the navel, has a normal color and there is no more bleeding. The navel area is dry. We should write umbilicus area. Area of the umbilicus is dry, but navel is such a common word for this. I mean, I mean umbilicus. We finished the treatment. Now we are ready. We take a few more pictures. This is not yet completely clear. Here you see no fluid anymore. It's dry. I don't remove the crusts, just leave it. There is new skin under beneath the, the crusts. No more discharge. Don't don't take the crust away. It will remove by itself. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's, it's close, but not not very sharp. But you see, it's dry. Completely different than three days before. High calf, numbers three three one. Why they are not put all together just for for company? Yeah, well, anyway, it's not my policy. They just asked me, help me with my umbilicus. Okay, I can do it. It was, it, in fact, I, this is, this is, I've written a lot about this calf, of a lot, not a lot, but I've written all about this calf, but I, I, I don't have to think. It was from the first moment on, okay, this is the first possibility ever that I can give Abrotanum to, uh, to an organism, and it it was this calf. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Goodbye, calf.